Okay, so in this example, what I'd like to introduce is the concept of chaining with attaching, as well as grouping. So let's get started. Uh, you can see here I have three layers, and I've connected to this spreadsheet called grouping here, and it's just got three layers, and each layer has, you know, a set of uh, data. And I've, you know, gone to my Google spreadsheet setup, and I am using my quick stack worksheet for the grouping, and I click OK. So when I hit preview next row on the, you know, preview is next row, I'm seeing all the data come into my layers because my layers are mapped properly using, you know, these header titles here. So when I, uh, you know, when I first work with a, a template uh, and I'm getting things set up, what I want to do is make sure that I can actually see everything. So I usually start with the scale factor. And for this particular example, I'm going to go ahead and make all of these guys scale down to 80%. So I'm going to select each layer and for every template or settings effect that I've applied to these layers, I'm going to set this to 80%. So now when I preview it, you know, things should be a little bit smaller and I'm going to move that in so that it's actually contained in the parent composition all the way. And now I'm guaranteed to see all the data within this comp. Now, what I'd like to do is kind of make a block of uh, lines of text here. So what I'm going to do is use something called attachment. And what that means is basically, you know, one layer is going to follow another layer's bounding box. So the first thing I'm going to do is select this one, and this is the base layer. So for attachment, I'm going to attach it to the bottom of the middle layer. And I'm going to hit bottom for the bottom edge. And I'm just going to make sure it's centered on edges. So now when I hit, um, instead of next row, I'm going to do current state. When I do that, it's just going to kind of align to there. And if I go back to next row, you can see that no matter what this guy looks like or how it scales, this guy is always going to be attached to the bottom edge of that. So for this one right here, for middle, what I'm going to go ahead and do is attach it to the bottom edge of this top one, the title layer. So I'm going to attach to the title layer, and I'm going to attach on the bottom edge. So now when I preview it, it's just going to you know, easily attach the bottom edge of that title layer. And so that's really nice. Now, the problem here is that you know, these layers are not acting as a group. Uh, another problem I've noticed is that you know this is not centered. So I want to make sure that this is centered. So I click this and I say initialize to center. This one is also initialized and this one initialized to center. So I hit preview and now at least we have you know these things are kind of uh, getting to a place where we want them but we can see that this block is not actually centered vertically in the composition. So to center all these and to treat them as a group we use the group position parameter for every layer. So for this layer, this, in, the, in terms of its position of the group, it's going to be on the base. So this we classify this layer as a base layer. Now this layer up top, this is the title layer. So this group position is going to be the cap. And then if we have uh, a middle layer or multiple middle layers, we give that classification as middle. So now when we go ahead and preview, you're going to see that, you know, Templator is going to treat these guys as one object when it does its uh, alignment or when it you know kind of positions it so now in that way we can kind of get a really nice block of text that's you know no matter the size of the uh, or the length of the text layer we can um, you know we can ensure that it's it's one block so you know I have this right here you know just to give it a few uh, you know uh, design choices which you know aren't very good in my opinion but you know, just to show you, and, you know, it also is nice to kind of see, um, you know, how this kind of works in, in different views. So, uh, you know, you can see that Templator does a pretty good job of, of handling alignment. And, um, yeah, so that's grouping. So you definitely want to make sure that, you know, your cap layer, you know, your middle layers, and then, you know, your base layers, and then you're guaranteed to have those layers kind of center in their uh, composition. So that's just a little trick that a uh, templator has for you.